Hey everybody, this is Dan Starling with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're going to return back to our inventory management tool. We had a question about this a few days ago and uh, we're going to follow up. I got a follow up email just saying, hey, um, you know, what I really wanted to do is basically whenever this combo box is filled with the, the unique values HRF 04, 05, 6, and etc., then I want combo box 2 to um, to be filled only with the things that are applicable like so if I clicked HRF 04 it would only include the HRF 04's so there's a few ways <coughs> to skin that cat but we're just going to loop through column B basically and if this is equal to whatever's in combo box 1 then we will include whatever's in column G on the add to thing or the dot add item so hit alt F11 with me we'll review kind of what we already have been looking at. So here's the fill combos. So this occurs whenever I think any any uh, cell is changed. Yes. So now what we want to do is whenever this combo box 1 is changed, we want to make a macro happen. So go to developer tab, click design mode, and now we can double click on that combo box 1 and get some action going. Double click on it, and there it is, combo box 1 underscore change. So we're already all set. So whenever there's a change that happens, we're going to figure out what's going on here. So um, let's go ahead and get a variable for the value. So my val, or you can put anything there, I'm just making something up. My value equals um, me dot combo box one. Uh, I'm putting me because it's the current worksheet. Me dot combo box one dot value. You don't even have to put dot value, but just for good measure. So if I hit, um, so let's put a stop marker there and I'll show you. Take it off of design mode. Let's change it to HRF05. So if I hit F8, you'll see that my val equals HRF05. So now let's just simply loop um, through column B. All right, so let's get the last row, of course. LR equals, let's see, this workbook dot sheets, quote, sheet one, end quote in parentheses, dot cells, rows dot count, comma one, dot end, going upwards and ending with the row number. Now that looks complicated, but <clears throat> if you click on my link, we have a uh, video for getting the last row. Uh, if you look at my basic series, it's real easy. So, that's how you get the last row. So, LR is going to equal that. Let's zoom up there. LR, I hit F8, is equal to 56. So, 56 is the final row that we have available right now. Now, we'll loop through. So, f we'll use a 4 and next uh, loop. We'll, we'll just use X. For X, uh, let's see, call a row 2 all the way to our last row. And we'll have the next X. Alright, now we're looping through uh, column B, so we might need to notate that somewhere, but um, let's go ahead and loop through. Um, if my value is equal to this workbook dot sheets, you can declare a variable, but I'm I'm not going to do that just right now. This record dot sheets dot use the cells and we're going to use x comma two because x is the current row and two is column B. If that is equal if my value is equal to this, <coughs> then we're going to add to combo box and it will shift tab shift tab end if at the bottom of our if statement now you might want to remember that up here we need to clear out the combo box from last time combo box number two it needs to be cleared so that we can start adding items and start over so me dot combo box two dot clear let's go backtrack and make sure there's no problem there okay the reason there's a problem just like we saw last time is that let's go to design mode right click on combo box number two and go to properties and we see that in the list fill range there is a 
a particular dynamic range. So let's just close that out because we want it to be um, determined by our code and not by a range. <clears throat> hit all F11, we'll get back to it. Okay, so let's hit F8. My value is hrf05 lr <clears throat> me dot combo box two dot clear is now functioning, so that's been cleared out. X is row two all the way to row fifty six. If my value equals whatever's in the cell two comma two, which is uh, B two, then add to the combo box. So me dot combo box one or dot combo box two dot add item so that's where we add an item and what are we going to add we're going to add whatever is my val at the current moment and that's basically it hit uh, f8 so we happen to know that we're on b3 and that's hrf04 so it's not going to equal 05 but in a second when we get to row seven yeah the next row it will equal out this equals that. So it drops down here and adds an item. What item? My val, hrf05. Oh, no, no, we don't want to add that. I'm glad we uh, are flipping through this. We want to add whatever's in column G, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you could put, um, you could copy this and put x comma 7, or you could put x comma and the, the letter G in quotes, like this. So either column 7, or you could just say G. So, but it's row X, comma, G, or, or the actual row, or the actual column number 7. Either way it'll work. So that's what we're going to add. We're going to add this item here from column G. So, uh, to combo box 2, not to the first one. And now if we take a look over here, we see that this is the first and only value that we've added. But if you hit F5, we're going to go ahead and finish this out. Hit F5, it'll loop through a gazillion times, and it will get all the things that are HRF05. So let's take a look. One, two, three, four, four. Yep, that's the only five that are correct. Let's click on Sally Wally Doodle. We'll take the stop marker off, assuming everything's going to work, which is a terrible assumption sometimes. Sally Wally Doodle, this one, and this one. So that's correct. That's this one and this one. Just one more test. Let's do um, HRF number 10. And now we'll look over here, and there's our HRF 10s. So now we have a dynamic way of filtering out the things from this list to translate to this list. And you can even type in there HRF 07, and then as soon as we zoom over here, it's already done. It's very quick. Anyway, thanks for watching, and God bless. Thank you.